My memories of the Feast of the Seven Fishes rarely involved seven dishes. It was one or two dishes that stuck out in my mind that I remember my grandmother making. Grandma used to make a bacala a la Vesuviana with tomato sauce, capers, and chilies, but serve it over baked polenta. But the smell of the bacala, wherever she got it, wasn't right. There was something that was wrong about the fragrance of the dish, but you could tell that she'd been making it because the house didn't smell delightful. It smelled a little odd. And then you ate it and you realized it was worth it. She also used to make potato gnocchi with some kind of a crab sauce. And that dish was the one that we grew up on the West Coast, and for us, the idea of lobster is intriguing for about two times a year. But I could eat Dungeness crab every day of my life. And having a pasta dish on Christmas Eve with that was really remarkable. I've had the Feast of the Seven Fishes, the Feast of the Nine Fishes, the Feast of the Eleven Fishes, and the Feast of the Thirteen Fishes in Italy. And it depends on who you're talking to, whether it's the number of sacraments, the number of saints, the number of winners of the last Grand Prix. You know, it's really hard to figure out how they figure out and why they do it. But I've had it in Naples, I've had it in Rome, I've had it in Bologna, and I've had it in Liguria. And each one is radically different, as is all of the cooking. It's all very geo-specific, and more importantly, it's all about the cook, the nonna, who happens to be making it. But it has been delicious on every single occasion, and Christmas Eve is one of my favorite days of the year.